Hey guys, welcome to Kluji Tech Time. I'm David, and today we've got a brand new drone announcement from DJI. It is a drone that you will probably never see, most likely will never fly, and probably don't have a need for. So stick around and we got all the details. Thanks for sticking around, guys. Today we're talking all about the brand new drone that DJI just announced this morning. Now, this drone is probably one you'll never see, never use, and probably never have a need for. However, for those of you who may be in the survey or mapping business, this may be the drone for you. Now, this drone looks like it is based off of the Phantom 4 Pro. It's called the Phantom 4 RTK. For those of you guys that don't know, RTK stands for Real-Time Kinematics. This RTK technology just gives the GPS technology a much higher level of precision so that it can have accuracy down to a level of just mere centimeters as opposed to meter, meter and a half, something like that the normal GPS has. Now this is extremely important for those in the construction, surveying, and mapping business. It looks like the Phantom 4 RTK is based off of the Phantom 4 Pro. It has the same 7 kilometer estimated range, the same about 30 minute flight time, the same 20 megapixel camera, but it has an addition to the top of it that looks like a little top hat sitting on top there, and that is the RTK module that gives it that extra level of precision that is required for surveying and mapping. In addition to that, it has a new capability they're calling Time Sync that integrates the flight controller, the camera, and the RTK map module. This is what DJI says about the new Time Sync system that they have built around this RTK version. The new Time Sync system was created to continually align the flight controller, camera, and RTK module. Additionally, Time Sync ensures each photo uses the most accurate metadata and fixes the positioning data to the center of the CMOS, optimizing the results for from photogrammetric methods and letting the image achieve centimeter level positioning data. In addition, it looks like they have a new app that is going to be specific for this, which is the GSRTK app. This app is built specifically for mapping and inspection workflows, and they say that it has the ability to direct load KML files, so those are mapping files that you can build on your computer and then import those. And they have built a new shutter priority mode to keep exposure consistent across all photos and a strong wind alarm to warn pilots of adverse conditions. As far as I'm aware, they have not published any pricing, but if I find any additional details in this particular area, I will let you know. However, as I mentioned, this is probably not a drone you'll ever see or need unless you are in this specific industry. So. Pricing probably doesn't matter for most of us anyways. Hope this was interesting to learn about a new drone that DJI is putting out, even if it's not one that you are likely to buy. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. If you did, hit that subscribe button and that little bell next to it so you know when we're putting out future videos. I hope you have a great day. Get out and go fly it, and I hope to see you on another one soon. Ciao!